guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so today what we're going to be working on is mainly the kitchen and the upper floors and stuff like that so there's going to be a lot of work into building that uh, we might need even more wood i'm not sure how much wood we have but um we'll see if we can't find some more uh, places to get wood from. Uh, looks like they're hauling some stuff. Uh, I'm not sure where he's going. Chopping the tree down, so. We should be able to get some more wood over here. All these trees look mature, so. And while we're doing that, uh, what we can do is we can um, start figuring out how wide we need this uh, this kitchen. So I was thinking like last episode I said um, basically expanded a couple extra blocks out so because it's the same size as this one and this is just generally not that large for the interior. Uh, it's only giving like a three block wide area so it's hardly enough for anything really. So if we expanded out two more then we should have walking room on either side of a dining table. Um, Actually, yeah, th I just realized that these guys aren't, like, moving these things over. We should probably get them to move them. Kind of need it out of the way in order to build. I'll just u utilize these two settlers to <laughs> tag team. I don't know where they're going at this moment, but it's working, so. And just select the other one once they've got that one, and then tell them to go get another pile. There we go. Alright, and sticks. Uh, we need to figure out something to do with the sticks. I'm not sure where to put them in just yet. Um. You know what, we'll probably end up just sticking them somewhere over here, I guess. Oh, we have actually a couple spots right here we could um, utilize. So we're going to kind of... Oh, can we copy that or duplicate it? Copy, yeah. So there we go. Perfect. All right. And that should cover the two bundles there. I'm not sure where the... Yeah, there's the lady. Get them to haul that. And tell you to hold that. Perfect. All right. So now we have a clean building area. So we can start working on that. Well, minus that part.
trade. So our settlers, uh, mainly North and Sylvester, are getting a little bit cold. So I decided to, uh, because they only have summer clothes, because we made summer clothes for them, right? Uh, everyone else should have, like, winter clothes. So what I'm working on is getting her to um, make some winter clothes. Uh, two winter clothes, so both of them have, you know, something actually to wear during the winter. I'm not sure what to do with the extra at the moment. I'll probably just stick them in the rooms. Uh, we can probably just put, like, because we don't have a chest yet or anything for that matter to store it in. So we're going to have to unlock that or work towards unlocking that. But we're going to need to, like, find a proper chapel location or something. Maybe we can build a grand library or something like that because this isn't really designed well for research. I mean, it could work. There's enough room to actually make it into a research building, but... Um... I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, either for a church design or something like that, but... Um... We do need somewhere to store their old clothes, so... I'm going to just select clothing, and then we can select the... Summer clothes uh, for that one. We'll set this as a high priority, so it's made sure that it's inside. And it should hopefully not de uh, spoil. I think it might go down a little bit, but I'm not sure how, how much. We might just scrap it. I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll go ahead and duplicate that. And I think this is Sylvester's house. No, it isn't. Let's go ahead and put that somewhere else. And where is Sylvester's? Sylvester's is over there. So we'll put that one over here. That should be good enough. And the windows are closed already, just to keep them warm, so... Um, yeah, and then I've been working on the, um, this building here for the kitchen. It's going to come out pretty, a little bit further. But I wanted to get this part done, and then we can kind of expand it out a little bit more, and then start working on that part once we get a floor and stuff in. Um, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of while to actually do, I think, to actually make it work, but, uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Now, this is... Just trying to see where everything is. Probably don't want... Uh, well, actually, we probably don't have a choice for that, do we? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we might need to keep that one wall there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working on getting a roof onto that thing, like a floor, and then we can at least do something with it.
Alright, so I needed to move this stable that we have over here, so I decided to end up making something a little bit bigger and uh, nicer for them. So we have some uh, thatched roofs that's going to be put over on top of here. They're going to have like an entire enclosed area. So the food can go over here and then we can put like the pen marker somewhere. I'm not sure where, but uh, once they get the thatched roof up, then we can start moving them over, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I started working on. Um, just started to kind of design it a little bit so they could, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, uh, basically have somewhere out of the way that we don't need to worry about uh, demolishing and everything like that. Oh, we did get another cow, by the way. Um, uh, small male one, so we, we can't breed still, but at least we have a, um, a young cow that we might be able to f hold off a little bit longer until they um, do. we do get a female cow. So I'm not sure um, if there will be a trader that comes by or something like that. We need a cartographer's table in order to um, actually get the trading and stuff, but um, shouldn't take too long until we get that unlocked. Actually, you know what? I think, yes, we can unlock that now. So we'll unlock that. Uh, basically what that allows us to do is add special blocks in, um, oh, why is that just laying on the ground there? Do we not have place for food? guess we don't okay uh, we'll, we'll make some food storage down here in the kitchen or below the kitchen here for uh, food storage to say um, meals uh, yeah any kind will work fine we, it's not like we're gonna be chopping up people so <laughs> all right so uh, that We'll be able to be moved over to that, I guess. And oh, actually, we needed to set that up for all of them, didn't we? Oh, hold on a second. What did I just select for meals? Oh no, because I set something as meals, but I don't know what I set. Because those aren't ready yet, so I wouldn't have been able to set them. I'll find it eventually.
Alright, so we got the kitchen facility done. So there's dining, well, there will be dining up at the top here. And we'll have some tables along this area so people can eat at them. And uh, down below will be like the brewery slash kitchen. So there will be a bunch of stuff down here that they'll be able to interact with and cook up and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the size and the layout and everything like that. There's plenty of room up here for uh, tons of stuff. We might even make um, something similar to this for the churches maybe I don't know maybe that's a little too much for a church like over like the size of it there's a lot of space that wouldn't be utilized but uh, we could um, maybe do that for like a workstation building or something like that I'm not sure maybe well, well f because it's not quite enough room for a church in these particular buildings for the size so I think what we'll end up doing is we'll have to literally take some time out and design a proper um, church for both of the different types of churches and stuff like that I'm not sure where we'll put those just yet but um, I'm pretty happy with the facility uh, for the thing once we get the dining and stuff in they'll be a lot happier and it's pretty much centralized for our entire base because I plan well we can't really expand to expand like too much that way but um, it's pretty centralized for where we'll, we can build and stuff like that. So if we go that way, then it'll still be kind of centralized. So outside of that, it's um, pretty good. Uh, the storage is down below. We got some extra food storage set up today. And what else did we do? We built the stables. And I've been telling them to um, chop down a bunch of wood. So they keep chopping down trees and stuff like that. Just so we have extra um wood for the winter just in case we need it and uh, we have quite a bit already but you know if we want to work on a building project or something like that at least we'll have trees or at least wood for uh doing that so that's at least the idea and if we need to use it for the uh the door for you know war then we have that option as well so if you're new to new to my eh. <laughs> i can't even speak uh if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out mm -hmm.